Hi everyone, Jigsoft here, and here's a video type I've not done in a long time. A long time. Alright, well, I've got for you a new Sabre. Uh, this is my latest Sabre that I built to test the uh, Diorino Infinity prototype board. Um, pre production models installed in here. It's a uh, Tri Rebel um, RGB LED, uh, 18650 battery, a couple 12 millimeter switches here. I like my hilts to be one big gripping surface as I've said in previous videos and uh, this one's really as far as I've ever gone. Um, you can, I can pretty much grip this anywhere. Um, this is a bit of a fingerprint magnet, um, nice and shiny. Um, but uh, start at the top, it's uh, all MHS uh, parts. Got the tape grip section there and there's the switches. This is a little decorative piece. Um, this was meant to pay homage. Uh, this is what's left of my original Arduino Saber. I harvested some parts from this. So I took the emitter and the pommel and put them in here. And I also took the RGB uh, LED module and put it in this Saber as well. But I tried to copy uh, and pay homage to it with this uh, bottom section. It follows a similar hole pattern. See? Uh, but it's obviously much more refined and it's this is a very very special build to me um, it kind of brings together uh, a lot of things that I've learned uh, throughout the hobby. Some nice little features are the uh, deeply inset uh, switches I've got the little uh, accent LEDs going on there this section here this decorative section actually took me longer to make than the entire rest of the hilt it looks simple, but it this actually required a lot of sanding, and obviously there's a lot of holes to drill, and you, you have to deburr each one, and a lot of sandpaper, <laughs> a lot of sandpaper. Uh, but I got it all to, to work, and I think it turned out pretty well. And uh, this is a it's a TCSS uh, base speaker in the bottom, and this section is actually held on. There is you can see there's no obvious way that's held on there. Um, it's not glued on there. There's actually, let's see if you can see it. I don't know if the camera's going to be able to see it, but inside of this hole, um, there's a reverse set screw. I drilled into the MHS piece that's underneath this, and then that hole is just big enough for me to fit an Allen key in, and I can, I can, I could actually take that off if I wanted to, or just screw it in a little bit and back it out, but, uh, that, that's a nice little trick that I learned, uh, thanks to the, uh, FX Sabres forums. Uh, lots of, I forget who posted that, but that, that was a great little trick. I like that. Alright, let's fire it up. Put your dynamic swings. Clashes. Lock up. Blasters. You see you've got a blade shimmer going on there. Multi-font support. Smooth Jedi. A bit of a crackle, the sound's kind of converted crappy on this one. But well, basically works. Now, when I build a Sabre, pretty much every Sabre that I build is actually a test platform in one way or another. Uh, if you would watch my channel, you know that I do a lot of prototyping. So I have to design them in a way that uh, is easy to take apart. Cram foo is kept to a minimum uh, in that I can't just barely have everything fit in there. I design it so that it can be easily taken apart and uh, tinkered with. So here I'm taking off the pommel. This is pretty standard and normal. And there's the SD card. I can get to that pretty easily. And of course that's the speaker on the bottom. Now the entire uh, electronics assembly, switches, battery, uh, control board, speaker, everything is 
attached to a chassis that I built out of PVC and polyurethane pipe. And that can be easily removed. It's only held in there by a couple of set screws. So if I back out the set screws, the entire chassis, including the switches, will slide right out. The only thing that's not on the chassis is uh, the LED module. So you can see there's the infinity board right there, and that's the USB port. Now the USB port can be used for both programming and charging the battery. You notice there's no recharge port and there's no removable battery. And the switches, the activation switch shows through the same hole that I drilled for the aux switch when I slide the chassis down just a little bit. So everything lines up just perfectly so that I can still use one button control mode uh, while I have the programming cable plugged in. Uh, that's good for when I'm troubleshooting and writing a new code. And there's the, uh, there's the cable plugged in. So if I want to test motion response with the programming cable plugged in, I just have to tighten one of the set screws. So now that's fastened in there and the chassis won't slide out when I hold the saber up. And I can swing it around with the cable attached if I want to and uh, I can get serial debugging happening while I'm moving the saber around. So that's it, that's my saber. I'd like to say thank you to Space Windu for his uh, YouTube series where he live builds sabers that uh, really helped motivate me to finish this, uh, get to doing the hardware work and uh, get out from my keyboard and uh, start actually building the hilt. I'm pretty happy with how it turned out. Hopefully you enjoyed taking a look at it, and as always, thanks for watching.